So I have been experimenting with something seriously cool. Imagine describing an app idea in one line and getting a full stack production ready project generated by AI agents who think like real software teams. That's what MetaGPT promises. To test it, I built a personal finance app called PayTrack, where users can log income and expenses, categorize them and view financial reports. I didn't write any of the code myself, the agents did. In this video, let me show it how it works. These days, most of us aren't starting from scratch anymore. We have got frameworks, UI libraries, auth providers, hosted databases, but we still waste hours wiring them all together. Setting up a backend schema, configuring auth, writing validation logic, connecting to your front end, it's still boilerplate. Necessary, but repetitive. And that's where things are changing. MetaGPTX isn't just about splitting out code like a regular chatbot. It simulates how a real software team works. When I give it a task, the product manager first breaks it down into requirements, then the architect steps in, figures out the system design and hands it off to the engineer, who writes modular, clean code. There is even a reviewer agent that checks the output for bugs and improvements. And all of this happens in a shared chat where you can follow their reasoning step by step. It's not a black box. You can see every design decision, every debate, every code revision. The result, you'll get well-structured apps that aren't just code dumps. They are designed with intent. The only missing piece now is backend that's just as fast and flexible. And that's where Superbase comes in. If you haven't used it before, Superbase is an open source Firebase alternative. The magic of Firebase when it first came out was how fast you could build something real. You didn't have to worry about setting up a server, managing connections, or even writing boilerplate APIs. You just hit the SDK and boom, data, auth, storage, everything was there. Instant backend. But Firebase came with trade-offs. It's a NoSQL database, which means complex relationships like joining tables or doing real analytics can get messy very fast. And being tightly coupled to Google's ecosystem sometimes made it hard to debug, export, or even self-host. Superbase takes the same magic, but builds it on top of Postgre. You'll get a full database, authentication, row level security, storage, and even real-time subscriptions right out of the box. But here is what's really cool. When you can connect MetaGPT with Superbase, it can auto-generate your database schema, create tables, set up permissions, and even seed sample data based entirely on the app description you gave the agents. All right, let's put it to the test. I'm heading over to MetaGPT, and here's the only thing I'm going to type build a personal finance web app called PayTrack. Users should be able to log income and expenses, categorize them, and view a summary of their monthly balance. Use Superbase as the backend. And that's it. No detailed specs, no code, just this one-liner. And MetaGPT spun up a virtual team. Now watch what happens. The product manager agent jumps in and rewrites that into clear requirements. Things like user registration, transaction, CRUD, and category tagging. The architect took those requirements and designed the overall system architecture. And the engineer follows up by writing the front-end and the back-end code, including Superbase client integration, auth setup, and UI components. And the reviewer can be there to suggest improvements. And all of this happens in a shared thread, right inside MetaGPT. You can follow every step, who said what, why they made a decision, and how the code evolved. It's like peer programming with a transparent AI team. Once it's done, MetaGPT pushes the entire code base to GitHub. Clean folder structure, modular components, super base setup, all ready to run. Let's talk about the backend setup. MetaGPT integrates seamlessly with Superbase, which gives you a full Postgre powered backend, complete with authentication, row level security, and RESTful APIs out of the box. To connect it, you typically paste your Superbase project's URL and anon key to a .env file like this. But in this build, I enabled mock mode instead. That way, I could develop and iterate faster without needing a live backend during the early phases. It's super helpful when you're still prototyping. Now here's the cool part. Even if you're not using the mock mode, you can always jump into the Superbase dashboard and manually create or modify tables. The SQL editor gives you full control, whether it's defining foreign key constraints, adding row level security policies, 
or just running queries. For pay track, we had tables like users, transactions, and categories, with types like income and expenses, all scaffolded from a single prompt. Now, of course, not everything worked perfectly out of the box. Right after the initial build, I ran into a few issues, just like any real-world project. But here is where MetaGPT agent collaboration really shined. Let me walk you through the sequence of bugs and how we fix them one by one. Initially, the login flow took a while to kick in. I had configured mock mode so the auth service wasn't fully wired to show the instant feedback. So after prompting the engineer agent, it improved the loading state and made the redirect smoother post login. Then I hit a white error in the router setup. Classic case of the engineer agent trying to import a file that didn't exist yet. Once I pointed it out, it regenerated the correct import using lazy loading and the routing issue was gone. Next, I found that categories weren't getting created. Clicking the add category button did nothing. Turned out the category type handling and mock database logic needed a small patch. The agent quickly adjusted the logic to make sure both income and expense types were properly registered and saved. Then I noticed the transaction list was completely empty, even though mock data was supposed to be seeded. The engineer hadn't wired the pagination or mock fetch logic correctly. So after I described what was expected, it revised the backend hook and UI render flow. A refresh later and the full transaction history showed up complete with pagination. Now that categories and transactions were working, I moved on to budgets, only to get hit by this error. In the console, I found this. So I copied the exact error into the chat and the agent fixed it by adding null checks and ensuring the mock response was shaped correctly. After that, budgets loaded and displayed category-wise allocations. Finally, the report section completely failed with this error. And in the logs, I saw this. This one needed both service layer correction and front-end binding. Once prompted, the engineer regenerated the missing function, rewired the data pipelines, and added fallback handling for undefined states. After that, the reports page loaded beautifully with income, expenses, savings percentage, monthly breakdowns, and even charts showing stop spending categories and saving progress. All these issues were fixed just by prompting the agents with real error logs. No stack overflow, no guesswork. It felt like peer programming with a responsive, full-stack junior developer who just keeps iterating until it works. Once everything was running, here is what we got. Superbase back login, CRUD for transactions and categories, pagination in the transactions tab, financial reports with savings, income and expenses, visual budget tracking and top spending categories, and real-time updates using Superbase subscriptions. All of it generated from one prompt, with a few guided tweaks along the way. After that, I previewed the app with App Viewer and MetaGPT's built-in editor. Once satisfied, I hit deploy, selected a custom URL, and the app went live, fully functional with backend and frontend synced. So what did we just see? We described an app in one sentence. MetaGPT simulated a dev team, wrote clean code, integrated with Superbase, and deployed it. All in under 10 minutes. No boilerplate, no tedious setup. Just idea, Prompt, product. If you have been wanting to learn how full stack systems come together from front end to back end, auth, databases, and deployments, this is exactly the kind of tool I bring to you. My goal is to help you explore and understand real world systems end to end without getting lost in setups and boilerplate. So check out the description for GitHub repo, links to MetaGPT and Superbase, and feel free to remix this into your own app. Thanks for watching, stay curious, and keep building.